Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your The Young and the Wrestler Review for December 29, 2016. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, we started off from yesterday, even though I only looked at bits and pieces of The Young and the Wrestler yesterday, and I, I, I didn't care that much. But it got to look good today, though. I see y'all going to do that. Then y'all showing tomorrow. We don't get to see what happened after that shit that happened today. Till fucking Monday. Thank you a lot, cause Nikki the Nicky invented that damn important that damn well like somebody gives two fucks about it. But okay. Um, so we started off with we starting left off yesterday. Basically, Mariah got the <laughs> got Hillary ass good. Hillary can do nothing but sit there and get mad and go run the hug. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. How dare you do that to me? Oh, you embarrassed? Now imagine how she felt. She she was embarrassed when she fell and bust her damn nose. Oh, you embarrassed in front of all your peers. How does it feel, Hillary? Do it feel good? Are you little man or big man? Please tell me how you feel, Hillary. Not only that, Devon finally found his backbone today and going to call this Sam. Look at all this I did for him. You really did that to her? Oh. Devon, you know what you married. You know you married the witch. She ain't no human being. That's a witch with spells. You know what the hell you married. Did you really have to ask that you really do that? Any bitch that'll find a way to lie to you every time she get a fucking chance and or try to come up with some bringing their suit or use her body to get your ass back in her good and what won't they do? She didn't lie to you so many times that you didn't call her so many times. I was surprised you told her about her mammy today, which was shocking. I was still up there in shock, not Devon. Let's see, you didn't got away with a half a million crimes with Devon. And Devon didn't do nothing but sit there and rock you and call her you like you was a goddamn baby. Now, all of a sudden today, he want to get mad. Devon, I don't feel sorry for you and your relationship with Hillary, but I do, however, feel sorry for you driving in that Lamborghini. The worst car you can be driving down the car, driving down the road in that fast in a car like that. However, I do feel sorry about you wrecking your your nice car. You just got the hell. I'm not think you gave them the payment yet, but yes, you didn't wreck it. So you stuck paying for a car you can't even must drive in. But I'm pretty sure that car totaled. You better hope you come out alive. What it can tell. Look like you ain't, and look like that was a Lamborghini too. If you know anything about them cars, them cars, don't matter how fast you're going, no matter how you can hell, you can bump somebody, hell, you can run into somebody, hit a pole or something. Dumb damn cars break a fucking part. That's why I say I don't know why people, so many people get Lamborghinis. I would never get myself with one of them devil traps. I don't care how much money I got. Cause the time you rent one of them cars, them cars fall a damn part like a piece, like a like a Lego house. They standing up nice now, riding around to your wreck that bitch and that bitch fall down like a damn like a lego house and then hope you don't die try hope you don't die just wrecking it hell i fin the bit of that cop i love fall a fucking part but anyway though that reminded dumb of you devon to get mad and hit her after all this oh this was the final blow for you really her line and you just to get another job opportunity. The company that you and her own and she wanted more money wasn't good enough for you to get mad at. But cause she tripped somebody and or could have made you get a lawsuit against your and Mar uh, Mariah with that type of girl. Could have sued the hell out of GC Bulls and got money for it cause your bitch and one made her fall and bust her ass and made her fall on her nose. So uh, when she fell, you can tell she fell on her nose or her nail was no like red like Rudolph. So she could have had a broken nose or whatever. Oh, that makes you mad that hung. Huh? 
But her line, you ain't con and you ain't scheming, you all this time. Oh, that's all fair game. Just as long as she put on something, have naked and jump on top of you. Oh, okay, Devon, I see how it works. Now, little small minor things, them little white lies she be telling you, oh, all them fine. But somebody falling, busting their ass, Jamal in somebody else's clothes, and about killed their damn self. Oh, now you appalled and now you mad. Boy, get the fuck out of him. Um, that about all I want to talk about that. Nope, I still got more to talk about that. Yeah, she running home and, the boy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the boy, I'm sorry. Girl. And he gave you an inch, you will take another man. Hillary, cut that shit out. You need to y'all, uh, and, and you talking about my love. I done told y'all that love word don't exist with y'all too. Y'all both using each other. She using you for your money, Devon, and you using her for her body. Might as well say that's your hooker. And you the pimp, cause I best look what you doing. You buy her nice things, this, that, and the second. Buy her a building, buy her a company, buy basically use a half a camera time. Basically, you the pimp and she the home. That's y'all relationship. Love and marriage, that don't mean shit to y'all two. Cause they never one of y'all fuckers gonna tell me that y'all love each other. I like to see the receipts of that. And y'all can't produce no pursuit because y'all love each other because y'all don't love each other. Hillary using you for what you got and you using her for her body because she quick to throw it at you when, you when she know you mad at him. Every time you mad or feel the top of way towards her, what she do? Get naked and jump right on top of you. Every damn time because she know just like that you can't resist. Like you ain't had no girlfriend and I don't know when this your first time ever having a girlfriend. Matter of fact, this is your first time you ever having a girlfriend, I think, on this show. So, you right. You don't know how to act and then that money on top of it. Oh, now you just showing your ass. And Hillary know the type of con and know how to hook you every damn time and you get baited. So, that is a pimp hole relationship. That is not no marriage, and that is not no love in that marriage. I don't give a damn how much y'all try to tell me they in love, because I'm going to tell you that you're lying. They ain't in love. Um, and Lily had to get her two cents in, of course. You know she couldn't resist. Oh, did I just hear that correctly? That she admitted that she made Mariah for... Lily... Okay, now, I'm with you on trying to help your brother open his damn eyes to the help that he married to. But this all backlegging and all this gloating shit, go say that shit for a rainy day or another day. Use this for your good, not your evil, to get back at this hoe because you still mad at her about how the way she came into town. Help your brother out. Don't use this just to get back at that helper. Now, if you're going to do it right, Lily, you better do it good, and you ain't doing the good right now by sitting up there enjoying all this gloating. So you mean to tell me, even if it is good to you, you going to tell me you actually enjoying the fuck out of this, and you had to go tell her off for two seconds, and Kang was there to get your ass in a minute, to get your ass in less than a second, told you to come on. Kane, yeah, you know she was there to start that shit. I'm glad you grabbed her by her neck and told her to come on. Because I didn't need her to get started today. Um, Chelsea and Nick, who didn't see that coming? With them up there kissing all on the sofa laid up. I thought they were going to bring in the New Year's with the kids. I guess not. I guess Chelsea fell on top of way. Chelsea said, well, you missing your wife? I'm missing Adam. We just had our feelings go all out of, all, all out of way. So we just go, uh, I'm just going to go home. So she decided to go home. She didn't get her New Year's kids. Vic the ass had the glow. By the time I, some, I helped you and your brother get a fresh start for the New Year's and some other shit he said. I wasn't really paying too much of a damn attention. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I want to say. Yep, that's about all I want to say. And anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. i see y'all soon for Sutton. Um, if I don't see y'all after Friday, have a good new, ha happy new year to y'all. And enjoy bringing in the, the um, 
The new year. I hope you have a good one. I ain't forgot about you. And Barbara Turner, I see you. I, I, <laughs> I had to get your name real quick. My fault. I thought I wrote it down, but I see I didn't again. Barbara Turner, I see you. And thank you for keeping me entertained in my DM. And yeah, I see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.